Good day, everyone. Several years ago, I had gone for a job interview. The position was that of a communications trainer, and the participants were freshers who wanted to be cabin crew. I had the requisite qualifications, but I did not get the job because of my grey hair. They sheepishly told me that the assignment would be mine if I dyed my hair. I was amused. A reputed organization like this was touting youth and beauty over experience and quality. Walk down any aisle in a supermarket or look at the dedicated beauty counters at malls. Anti-aging pills and potions, creams and lotions have flooded the market. Over made up sales girls tell you how to use their products. Under the eye, over the cheekbones, and don't forget your neck and hands, madam, because those are dead giveaways. Your skin at any age must be elastic, but don't worry too much about that because with the right sort of money, you can help that along with some plastic. Liposuction tucks things in, Botox plumps things out. You really need to have a very stretchable budget to look right, to battle the aging fight. If you go to Play Store, there is an app called Face App. You can tweak your photograph to have Rapunzel-like hair, Angelina Jolie's lips, and Aishwarya Rai's eyes. Total transformation. I tried it on myself and I looked glamorous, even if I say so myself. I looked at it, I smiled, and I deleted it. I looked drop dead gorgeous. It was nice to look at it for a while, for a lark, because it was just not me. Now, please don't get me wrong. I, as anyone else, love to look at a well-turned-out woman. And I don't even swing that way. But it's so nice to see a woman who has looked after herself, who carries her age with grace and dignity. That is classic beauty. What I can't understand is this obsession with youth. As we grow older, let's be proud of the lines that are etched and carved on our faces and our bodies. Aging is a gift of time. There is wisdom in our wrinkles. There are starlights in our hair and stories that give evidence of our growth. Let's all be comfortable and love the skin that we are in. For as in the words of my favorite poet, Donna Ashworth, I'll let you in on a secret. If you want to look alive, acceptance of your journey will make your beauty thrive. Have a beautiful life, my friends, as beautiful as you.